Did you get the tarp up? That's too bad we took it all apart, but I don't know if I'd have gotten that idea if it was all together. We've been sitting there for how long? A long time. A long time. Finally get it all apart, and I think, well, gee, maybe I could use it over here. Minus our good flashlight too. Okay, sound is on. Today went well. Um, I can always tell you when things are going really well because the day goes by fast. When it goes really slow, it means I'm not having a good day. But today went fairly quickly. Got a lot of dogs out. Megan and um, Devin got a lot of dogs out. And we had Amy and Jackie helping us out today. So things moved right along pretty quickly. I was impressed. was good. It was cool this morning. It didn't get too hot this afternoon. The puppies are coming along. The mid dogs are coming along and the older dogs are starting to get linked up. Um, we've spent the last two days trying to coordinate the logistics of getting people in to match up. So next two months we'll be fairly busy with people coming in for either research or being matched up. So things will be moving along pretty quickly. And we've got to start making some room for our next round of puppies. We got a whole load of rain last night, which cooled everything right down. doing very well. Uh, he's been moved down to the barn. He's not um, in ICU. Uh, he's still stitched, but uh, he's in one of the kennels that he's kind of restricted on the amount of space he has. So uh, he's still on leash walk and will be until the stitches come out, probably at least 24 hours after the stitches come out. Uh, but at least down there, there's multiple people that can take him for leash walks. So he's doing very good doesn't even look his attitude. He's still just same old Brad. And how much food do the pups get? The little pups usually get a, uh, I think that's a half cup scoop that we have. And then we put wet food in with it and then we put some water in it to soften it up. Um, they'll stay on that puppy food for quite a while. Uh, and then we'll start mixing in some of the adult food with the puppy food because there's more calories in the puppy food and they're in that growing rapidly stage. So um, we play it by ear. If we start to see where they're indicating that they're not getting enough, we'll add some to it. Um, they get a larger night meal than they do a breakfast meal. Mm. 
Thor is doing uh, okay with training. He's got an eye issue that they're working on right now. Uh, Megan is. But as far as the training goes, um, the concept is there. We just got to get his vision thing worked out. And then Martina, who had a scratch beside her eye, is back down uh, in general pop. And she'll be rotating through the training as normal. The musicians are on some leash training, uh, but it's basically just to get them used to the leash right now. Um, we do try to walk them around a little bit with it, but we don't make any drastic corrections with them because they're too young yet, and we don't want to get them being afraid of it. So now it's just mostly getting them used to the, the weight of the leash on them, the, the chain, the, the slip chain, and getting them not to concentrate on the chain and concentrate on what they're supposed to be doing. So they're at the very beginning stages of leash. The beef, um, even the puppies that we have down there, the, the musicians, I will take just a sprinkle of fine beef and just put it on there to give it a little bit of a smell factor and a flavor factor. But we don't load them up with a whole lot of that beef yet because uh, their systems, you know, they're pooping machines right now. So we try to keep that to a minimum. Okay. And I guess Tanner's helping with mail call. And there's your mail call seat. Your right. seat. Okay. Ugh. Hide that back. I don't have any water. Need water? Water. 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 Floor, floor, floor in my room. Okay. There we go. Water is arriving. Wonderful. Thank you. You think I'd remember it, wouldn't you? Doesn't work that way. Ugh. Okay. My stool. Over here. Now, big excitement of the day. Cummings Foundation. Yay. Yay. Is right. Is right. $50,000. Yo! Wish we had one of those every day. It'd be wonderful. Ah. We are pleased to enclose a check in the amount of $50,000 representing your 217 disbursement from the $100,000 grant awarded to Service Dog Project by Cummings Foundation. Subsequent installations, if applicable, will be paid on or about June 30th of each year due. Each year due provided that any required reports have been completed and approved. A link to an online impact report will be emailed to you. See, this is where you lose me, and I just got to give it to Ann because Ann understands this stuff. Completed report will be due by March 30th of 18. I know that part. I can do that one. If you do not receive the notification email by the end of December, please contact us after first checking your junk mail folder for an email from... Cummings, please accept our best wishes for success of your charitable endeavors. If you have any questions, please email Joyce at ba 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 or talk to her with the phone call. Cummings Foundation. Wasn't that wonderful? Wow, $50,000. That's a good one. That's a good one. I have... Um, Slightly panicked about the, I always am, about the chicken bricks. It's a short month, and every once in a while it happens, but we're coming down the home stretch. Here we go. Lois Blackburn, Enfield, Connecticut. That Cummings family is an awfully nice family. Normal people, you know. They're from Boston, aren't they? Uh, I think they're Wilburn. I think they actually live in Wilburn. Okay. 
And close is our fee for Dog Fest. See you then. Life is short, nap hard. Lois Blackburn, Barbara Rosenio, Rosenio. I don't know. And Joan, somebody from someplace else. The three sisters. Okay. Okay, so I better leave this in here with that so that she can figure it out. Okay. Oh, no. My bottle's back there. There we go. 50,000 and the three sisters. And here we have a bill from the dentist. They put that in here. That's not yours. And we have something else here. I did have up on the for the first spirit stick to arrive. This is very good. This is from Virginia. Mm-hmm. From Zionsville, Indiana. We have our supply of poop pickers for the tip. And another packet of them. Huh? So it must be tough writing in marker as a lefty. Okay. Here we have another. Bye. Here we have another bunch from Virginia also. Okay, that'll keep us going for five minutes. And we have a few boxes today. Box department. Yeah. Did you go to the bank yet or no? Do you go? It's in. You did. Yep, it's done. It's oh, done. Okay. <laughs> yes. Because I did write that check for twenty three nine. Oh, okay. okay. And he's going to do that back thing for twenty five hundred, which gets me right about to the twenty five thousand that I had thought we were tweaking for in the first place. Mm. Yeah. It's, yeah. We're good. We might have to write him a tax thing for giving us a break. You know? Yeah, so you can find out what number he wants the break for. Right. Well. Is this supposed to be turned off? What? The stew? I don't think so. Oh, okay. Okay, and well, this is from Dawn. Orland Park, Illinois, and Sharon. Dawn and Sharon, okay. Dawn and Sharon. Oh boy, here we go. Happy 4th of July. You're coming too? Hope you have some fun with this goofy box. We get so much joy from watching the cameras and love the new edition of Morning Singing Group. Can't wait to see what's next. Thanks to you and everyone at Crazy Acres for all the hard work. Dawn and Sharon. I think they're coming. Money is for the fun fund. It doesn't say they're coming. Well, maybe they are. Maybe they're not. They're watching. Okay, you can have that. Here. Well, I got a new hat. Ha <laughs> ha! Yep. Look at that one. Whoa! Oh. How about that? Nice. Look at that. And we have hat things. Oh. We have dog oh, hat gosh. things. Here you go, Tanner. <coughs> Am I wearing this? Simple, simple. Oh, look at this one. Well, that's not a bad hat either. Okay. That's not a bad hat either. Look at that hat. How about that hat? I like that. that? Yeah. that hat. <laughs> there we go. Well, that's a pretty color. I like this one. Yep. We got, we got a lot of toys in here. Well, they're all different. This one's got whirly gigs on it. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure we will put them in good use. Uh -huh. There you go. Here's some more. You got. You don't have them all. You have them. There you go. Make them available Sunday. Well, these are bandanas.
Uh-huh. <coughs> well, hold, that gotta, up. hold that up. Try to agree with you, but then we both be wrong. There's Oreo cookies. Uh-oh. Fireworks. Wow. Oh, Oreo cookies are pretty good stuff. You want this way out? Right there where all the other signs are? <coughs> what? You want this right out there where all the other ones are? Sure. I think we have to double over the same thing, but that's okay. Where are we going to put this stuff? You're going to be in charge of it. What is this? Okay. You have no munchies. Four pouches for four cakes. Whoa. Cinnamon cream cakes. So yeah, I like that. Let's get it out of the box. It'll be even better. Cinnamon coffee cake. Ooh, that's Four individual pouches. Okay, so let's get the bad news here. That's a rule. Empty one pouch into a microwave safe mug. Add three tablespoons of water and stir. Ensure the cake mix is well blended. And stir for 30 seconds until batter smooth. Microwave on high for one minute, 10 seconds. Cooking time may vary based on microwave, whatever. Cool for two minutes before eating. Calories, 320. Mm -hmm. well, that's a very healthy breakfast. This one's, this one's only 300. That's chocolate lover's cake. <laughs> oh, God. And this one's brownie. The brownie is 340 calories. <laughs> That's all right. Put them out there on the, on the stove. I mean, on the... You're not going to be... Are you going to be able to hold that? Oh, there you go. Okay. And the cookies go on the shelf. And then I got mini bones. I'm going to put those over here because so I'm out of mini bones. Cake by the microwave, perhaps? No, put them up by the coffee. Okay. Here's another couple green hats. There we go. Okay, so we have a box. I think I should cave a box. I guarantee those cookies will probably be gone by the end of the day tomorrow. Okay. Okay, we have puppy things. Here we go, have the puppy things. Oh, I know what's needed there. These are those, instead of the concrete blocks that we now have holding the things down. That's what my, somebody said they were sending me these. There's a bunch. Wow, look at this. You're going to make a pile of them someplace, right? Maybe put them out in that thing. Three. These have to be tent, tent holder downers. Now, my guess is they are, is the way they're built. Huh. Another one. This one There's more in here. Are there? There's a lot more. Wow. Wow. She said she liked these. These are nice. These are nice. Another one. Another one. I'm working on it. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's nice. I think we could use these bags, too. These bags for shipping stuff? You better say that. I bet you Linda would like them. I bet you Linda would like them.
We're getting there. <coughs> Here's the last one. <laughs> so you got to hold the whole tent down. There we go. Wow, those are amazing. These we're going to have to give Linda because I bet she'd like those. You want to put those out there for Linda? Viral anchor. Huh. Well, isn't that interesting? <coughs> Liberty Hardware. I bet they do hold. All right. We'll try that. Get out of there, you clown. Get out of there. Okay, and that was from, who's that from? Jared. Uh, huh? Jared. He had the board, so. Let me see. The, 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 the cardboard box, who was it from? They were in that box. <coughs> she told me she was sending them to me. Kathy from Grover Beach, California. There you go. Okay, that's wonderful. <coughs> that's wonderful. Okay, and here we have Karen from Allentown, Pennsylvania. Well, sure. How do you open these boxes? Here we go. Press firmly to seal. Press firmly to seal. Okay, how do I get it open? I have to get it open. My opening device. <clears throat> What'd you do with it? <laughs> you had a blue one in your hand. I had a blue one. At the beginning of this episode, I don't have desk, it anymore. Front of your keyboard. What? Yes, right in front keyboard. of your keyboard on the desk. Oh. Okay, I'll do that one. Pray for somebody you call on someone. Oh, missed. That didn't work. Bigger hole. No, that doesn't work. See, it's stuck. Don't do that now. It'll be a short delay. <laughs> Come on, say, I don't want to put it that far because I'll hit something in there. from Karen Free. Karen Free. Oh, got a fight with it. See if there's anything else in there. picture. Oh yeah. That's another calendar picture. Oh boy. Don't I love it. Don't I love it.
Huh. Okay. Oh, they're envelopes. Oh, wow. Made out of calendar yeah. pictures. Oh, my word. this one she's planting right now huh she's still planting i know we should get should get a kick oh, out of this one look at this mm -hmm. pictures nice. envelopes can't imagine who I could send anything to that would be so important that would get them. But let's put them in the envelope drawer just in case somebody comes along that needs to have an important thing sent. You can send it with the thank you to the Cummins Foundation. Like, like the guy that just sent us the $50,000 maybe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. How about that? Wow. Okay. So what else we got in this file? Yeah, stick Here, you can have that one. I'll take that. Hi, Carlene, please find enclosed money for a blue monkey fist, a mailing box, and shipping information. Long overdue promised envelopes for Linda. Oh, I just stole Linda's envelopes. Any requested postage I've made customized stamps. Just for oh, my word. Thank you for allowing us into your home. Okay, so these are stamps, apparently. And she wants a blue monkey fist. We got one somewhere. There we go. Uh oh. We got another package here. Uh oh, there might be more envelopes. There are. These are the smaller envelopes. But she's done such a good job. Look at that. Taking the critical part of them. Well, that's my favorite one. What am I going to do with them? I'll have to put back of the envelope. <coughs> mm -hmm. I'll put them in here like that. Okay. And so this has to go for Linda to straighten out. Money in here. Look at that, though. Holding it all up. Give that to Betsy. That's a good picture. Look at this stuff. For Blue Monkey Fist, please send two. Okay, we'll put this in there. We'll put that in there so she doesn't get lost. And that's a box. Send the, the Blue Monkey Fist. Is it one or two? Huh? Is it one Monkey Fist or two? We'll give it two. Okay. Put in some of the little ones, too. Why not? We haven't, we haven't had a run on them lately. Wow. Oh, there's Linda. There you go, Linda. You're just in time. Where do you see what this woman sent us? Lindy. Good girl. Good girl. That goes there. That goes there. That goes there. She sent us the all the envelopes. We have that size, and we have the, the number ten. We better. I better give them to you, right? Wait, what do you, Look at what this. Well, that's the sender of a monkey face. Okay. She sent a block. Here, you can take all this, because oh you'll, you'll take care of it. All right. Be very careful with those. 
I do think we ought to send a net, you know, to Cummings in one of those. Okay. Okay, I did all that. Oh, I was going to feel this. And then my water. When do they start roast beef? We started. <coughs> uh oh, that's got to go up. Better put that up one There we go. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. You have the question? Yeah, you mm -hmm. I pulled some out just to see what it tastes like. How is it? It's good. Very good. Why didn't you read the Steve stuff? No? No, this is for Carlene and or trainers. I just found your awesome organization while looking at my options for a service dog and heard this place, this was the place to ask a question. I have Dysotonomia? Yeah, I know that one. I completely understand if this is information that cannot be given out, but I was wondering if you have experience with other people with my chronic illness and if you think this could be a good option for me. Thank you. Yeah. Um, everybody's giving you advice underneath there. Well, so it said best send an email to Carly. Yeah, well, one test I have for people who are thinking of getting a dog. Come on, Chaos, move it. Um, is to try walking with a partner and put your hand in the back pocket, hopefully a partner in blue jeans. And tight blue jeans are even better. Mm -hmm. um, walk with your hand in the back pocket and see if that helps you walk. You can stand up straight. You don't need a walker or a cane, hopefully. Um, and if that, if that works for you, by all means, use it all the time anyway, but uh, then take a video. Where are you from? I don't know where she's from. Doesn't say. Well, we like to have people come here for an interview. Um, but if that's relatively impossible, I'd like to see a video of you trying to walk that way and see how you make out. Um, it might give us some indication as to whether or not. And there are a lot of other details we have to know about you, like are you a veteran and things like that. So go to our web and if, if, if you find that you can walk with your hand in somebody's back pocket, then go to our web and look up how to make an inquiry and then do that. And I guess my best advice. Let's see. Watching you open that bottle with your teeth. Yours are better than mine. <laughs> oh, so it says, where's David? Is he picking up Steve's hokey habit? Nope, right here. <laughs> Tanner took over on the whiteboard today for me. He volunteered. Tanner disappeared. Yeah, they disappeared. Let's see, never mind the, yeah, never mind the David comment. Yep, here I am. Currently, 1,494 bricks have been bought from a total of 2,100. Oh, 700 to go. 71%. Well, it is only Wednesday. Yeah. 606 chicken bricks left on the wall. 600 bricks on the wall. I can't sing that. Oh, you were out. You oh, yeah, I can smell that. Woohoo! Thank you, Cummings Foundation. Spiffy hats. Mm. I like the hats. God, I love Tanner. What a sport. <clears throat> you have to be around here if it's yeah, required. Yeah, you kind of have to be. Yeah. <laughs> what a great box of goodies for the fourth. Love yep. the patriotic box. We love the individual cakes, but we found a little tiny bit more water and five seconds more in the microwave. Oh. The brownies are the best. 
Isn't that wonderful? Yep, a little bit more water in five more seconds. Okay. I am thinking calendar shot when I see those 4th of July things. Oh, well. If you send me ideas, I will send them right off to Kitty. Uh, Kitty, is the, Kitty is the one to organize this stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ideas are always welcome, though. That's true. Yes. Anyone know what those corkscrew things are? Yes, we do. We're not telling. <clears throat> huh? They answered. They said, oh. we're not telling. Okay. <laughs> Tent stakes. Okay. Yep. Did I just see the whiteboard right? $50,000. I am at work and just glanced up. Yes, you did see them correctly. Yes, you did. That was our second... There it is. Our second payment from them, too. They gave us, they awarded us the 100000 last year. They gave us 50000 each year. Mm -hmm. How many years? Just two. Just two? Just two. And then uh -huh. the, I forgot, the, I was trying to read the details, but there is some funny detail about you got to skip a year before you apply. I don't know. I, I forgot that part. Yeah. That's the part that Ann reads. They want to spread the wealth around a bit. Carlene looks like she's ready to go to the track with that hat on. <laughs> A big blue monkey fist that has been tossed around by Tanner being sent. This is true. Tanner was standing, yep. sitting there throwing it out. Let's see. Oh, what are those? Those are sta stamps. What are those? Envelopes used for and to mail out your next grant application. Without a doubt, impress the fufu out of the receiver. Right. <laughs> ID. An example: Make that request. Leave a super fantastic, fantastic standout. Bye. <coughs> huh. Okay. This is what a postage stamps look like. This is what the postage stamps look I, like. Yeah, I, I, we saw those. I didn't mm. know. Oh, did anybody feed this dog or should she just go to eat cardboard? She got fed. Where did she get fed? Just bought my chicken bricks for June. Great that you got the Cummings money. Sure helps. It certainly does. Will Bentley wear the decorations on his head? Yes, he will. He will. He's not crazy about One it. One of the things on my wrist, those are actually sleeves. I have, a, I have a problem with sun, you all know. Uh -huh. Sun and skin and things. I was a redhead for too long. <laughs> and it turned white, gray, and things like that. I, 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 was, a, I was a lifeguard. Oh, Are you? Earth, and I, I smeared baby oil all over me. Oh, yeah. Sit in the sun till you really get burned. Yep. Oh, I knew people who Eight did that. Eight hours a day I sat in the sun. In the, way up in the high chair, you know. Uh-huh. I was... Yes. I've had, I've had two malignant melanomas a, a long time ago, but I had two. Uh -huh. They're asking me if I saw the video that was made of me trying to get little Elvis back in the house last week. Yes, I saw it. <laughs> he was being stubborn. And I was hearing in my head, your voice, don't use your strength to move the dog. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, come on, come on. <laughs> When did Bentley start his morning singing, and how did you know that that is what he wanted? Because he did it. <laughs> Does that become an everyday thing, though? It, it's pretty close. Yeah. It's pretty, it kind of depends on when I get through with the daily doggy and things, or I'm sitting there doing nothing, or whatever. Not sure what this means. I partner that you know unless you like to meet new people. Not sure what that means. That's the that's the hand in the pocket deal. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> what Can see peace and thank yous also. What does this company do that gave STP fifty thousand? He 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 owns an awful lot of real estate. Awful lot of real estate around. Mm -hmm. Cummings, this that and the other thing. Wasn't there some? And he's extremely generous. Some nice guy. Nice normal guy. Mm -hmm. 
you know, you meet he and his wife on the street, and they're just plain normal people. Yeah. Um, I'm thinking construction. I don't know if that's true. No, well, I, I'm sure that... Uh, well, he started the coming center down here in Beverly was yep. the old uh, shoe manufacturing company, mm -hmm. and huge buildings, all into offices, offices, beautiful building. Mm -hmm. uh, but there's Cummings properties all over the place. Please say again, who is expecting puppies now? Thanks. That would be Laney. Laney. Laney's expecting them in what three weeks? Mm-hmm. And we're expecting Bentley to make some more of them within the next five or six days. <laughs> He's looking forward to it, I'm sure. How does this new donkey look to you? The poor thing is skin and bones. Yeah. It's awful. I had to get her out on green grass. She's trying to eat the, <coughs> the grass that's not even a half inch long up there on that hill that Lincoln left there for her. Mm. Um, so I had to get her out on grass today. So we let her out for probably half hour, 45 minutes, and we'll do it again tomorrow. And we'll get these kids babysitting her. I sat down there and watched her, but you gotta watch because she's really not strong enough to fight off these dogs. Mm -hmm. You can have an awful accident. And she's not and they used do to try it. and go round her. Yeah. They do try and circle her. They have a natural instinct. So I have a natural instinct to beat them in the head with a wiffle bat. So mm -hmm. you discourage that kind of thing around here. Nice ladies asking, Tanner, can you put a head decoration on Sizzle? Not right at the moment. Yeah, not at the moment. Okay. Do you remember the mail call when you wore the orange inner tube around your waist and they blew it up? <laughs> yes. You had a very hard time getting out of it. Please do not try that particular flotation device again <laughs> for the ducky ride on Hood Pond. <laughs> Blue Penguin says that was so, so funny. <laughs> she always fun. Oh, yeah. She never, always fun. Never a dull moment. Florida. Can you put a head decoration on Bentley? Oh, sure. Yeah, we but did he's that. he's sleeping. Yeah, he's sleeping right now. He's had a rough day. Tender I was outside most of the day, and he is wherever I am. Uh-huh. Has Bentley been with Gabby yet? No, no. just through the fence. She's not particularly ready yet. Mm -hmm. That seems to be it. Okay. Bye. So we'll say good night. Good night. Thank you. Good night, everybody.